Hello. Um, hi. I hope you all can hear me. Please, someone confirm, as always. Uh, yeah, so here we are in the Happy Home Paradise uh, update time. Yes. Oh my gosh, thank you, Varian, for becoming a member. So as you can see, I've just loaded up the game. Here I have my phone ringing, which I'm assuming is Tom Nook. It's cool to be psychic. Hello, Lex. This is Tom Nook. Are you busy? I have a visitor here that I'd love to introduce you to. Sorry to barge in on your day, but would you please come to the airport so you can meet her? Yes, I will. Also, do you like my new hairstyle? Um, I, I just, wow, it's so cute. That and the Aaron Yeager hair, best new hair. Look at this, there's Lottie. Oh my gosh, little queen. Okay, Alex, you're here. Also, thank you for confirming you can hear me, Maddie. Lottie, allow me to introduce you to Lex. Hello, I'm Lottie. Hi, little cutie. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to get to the island. I used to work with Mr. Nook a long time ago before this big island venture he started. Yes, yes, she's quite talented. Lottie can handle anything from interior design to building layouts. And now she runs her very own vacation home company. We stand a queen. Well, I did have a very good teacher. Do they have a crush on each other? Can someone confirm? It's really coming along though. We just got our new office set up, so we're finally ready to start taking orders for custom vacation homes. Right now we need another team member, a go-getter with vision and insight into our clients' needs. When I told Mr. Nook what I was looking for, he said he knew exactly who to ask, and here we are. It's difficult carrying this entire, uh, this entire island and every other island on my shoulders, but... Okay, Tom Nook. In other words, she needs your help, Lex. When she came to me, you were the first one I thought of. After all, you've done such a lovely job with your own home. Surely you could do the same for others. I'll leave it to you and Lottie, of course, but my instinct has rarely steered me wrong. Yes, yes. Mr. Nook is quite a reference. If you want to join us, I won't say no. We're close by, so your commute would be a breeze, and I offer a competitive salary. A salary... What do you think? Are you interested, Lex? What would happen if I just said I'm not sure? Like, no. I'm okay, actually. I don't really... I don't really want to go. I'll need to get a few things ready before you join our team, so I'll go on ahead. I'll see you there. This is gonna be precious! Hello to everyone who's in the chat. Emily, hi. Alex, hi. Taylor, Sunny, Maple. Hello, everyone. Look at this. This airport has a flight standing by for whenever you're ready to meet up with Lottie. Just tell the staff at the front desk I want to go to work. Well then, I'll leave you be. Take care, Lex. Thanks, Tom Nook. Love you, buddy. Alrighty. Also, I need you all to appreciate my outfit. Because I spent a long time picking this out. Look at, look at the bag. Look at the shoes. Look at the band-aids on my knees. I mean it. Look at the band-aids on my knees. They are so cute. I got them from Abel Sisters, before anyone asks. I guess we'll just go ahead and go. I wanted to show you all my gyroid collection, but we can do that later. It's fine, it's fine. We gotta go meet Nico. President Nook. Oh, what is this man talking about? President Nook. Okay. Told me you're working at this Lottie's place. Lex, exciting. Whenever you need to head over there, tell me I want to go to work. Let's go. I have been waiting for this ever since yesterday when the update dropped for whatever reason. I've been excited. Also, I feel like it's so unfair that people based on time zones could access the DLC early. Like, I literally just gained access to it maybe 20 minutes ago. But here we are. No complaints. We're vibing. We're here. I love this new screen and the music too is so cute. Living the DLC through you tonight till I can play after work tomorrow. Well, we're glad to have you here, Jordan. By the biplane, Lex, is this your first time flying these particular skies? There's a bunch of little islands scattered around out here. Real pretty. Tropical fruit for your eyes. Also, the regular kind of tropical fruit. Yep, I could see a bird landing on one of those islands and deciding to just stay grounded for a while. Wilbur, you cannot break up with our island. Not me, though. Whoa, sorry there. Just realized you're heading into work, aren't you, Lex? 
Well, uh, in that case, take a look at the monitor in front of your seat and take it easy while you can. That's so intimidating. Look at how cute this is! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Little baby islands. I love this animation. Whoever drafted this up is a genius. Look at all those vines. I wish I could take things from here back home. Just take all these freaking vines, just everything, and run. I'm so excited. I'm so ready. This is absolutely precious. I wonder if it'll do that every single time you go to quote unquote work. Elena, you saw Wilbur in your roost having a coffee. That is precious. I have got to invite him. I need to get his amiibo. Look at this, a new flyover experience. We love to see it. Everything is so pretty. Am I about to meet Nico? Oh my gosh. Please let him be at the let him be at the dock. Yes, look at him. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Do you hear his little voice? Oh my gosh. Hi, welcome. You must be the newbie that Lottie was talking about, right? That's right. Well, I'm glad the island sent you to me. I'm Nico. I work with Lottie. I would die for you. Literally would die for- I would sacrifice my life for you, you little monkey. Look at him go. He is sprinting. He is running. Did you see that? He was dashing. Hold on. First meeting vibes. Oh my gosh, look at him. He was what I was most excited about for the update. Look at that little baby. Oh my goodness. Hi, young man. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. I can't get over this. He is so precious. Oh. <laughs> Okay, look at us go. Ah, oh, welcome, I've been waiting for you, Lex. Literally, we spoke five minutes ago, not even five minutes ago. And welcome back to you too, Nico. Thanks for leading the way. Look at his little face. I think Nico has already introduced himself, but I'll introduce you to everyone formally now. Look at these items on the left, by the way. We are about to raid. Everyone, this is Lex, the person in charge of our custom vacation homes. Glad you're here, Lex. I accept this applause, thank you. You'll help Lex out, won't you? Please say yes. <laughs> of course, great to have you on the team. Just remember, I'm your guy if there's anything you need. The islands around here are kind of like my backyard, you know? Look at his little proud face. I could cry right now. Yep, our Nico is the expert when it comes to all things local. He can take you straight to any island you need. Look at him. I'm also trying to learn more about sales and home construction. What an educated young man. What a good boy. Next up is Wardell. Is it Wardell? Wardell? I don't know. He's in charge of managing furniture procurement and other related matters. Sounds fancy. We also sell furniture and souvenirs here in the office, so he's in charge of that part of the business as well. Thank you, Rihanna Davis, for subscribing. Staff can make purchases too, so check out the products later. You might find something interesting. I already see something interesting. A lot of, a lot of interesting, in fact. Wardell's voice, wow. Okay, that's the whole team. I just know the four of us are going to do great things together. Go team! Aw, uh, Alex, we can't have Nico as a villager. He's an NPC. I wish he would live on my island 24-7. Best villager. Except for Kiki. You know, I'll never, I'll never abandon Kiki, the love of my life. It's policy to wear a uniform when you're working. You'll find yours in the locker upstairs next to the mirror. 
Thank you, Cynthia, for subscribing. You can use whatever you like in the staff room, including that mirror in the cabinet up there as well. All right, just call me when you're finished changing. I went through all the trouble to get this cute outfit and you don't even appreciate it. Look at how professional I look. Just kidding. Okay, let's go. Is it weird? I was kind of hoping Nika would have like a super deep voice. I cannot imagine that. Look at all this. You can use this locker to make changes to your work outfits. So is all this stuff I can wear to work or what? Oh my gosh, what is this? I'm wearing it, don't care. These sandals are really cute, but what about these? I'm actually looking like a little baby, okay. Do we like it with socks or without socks? Will it let me work in all of this? I don't know. I don't know. We could also wear this. Look at the little moo moo. Let's do it. Let's do it. Look at me go. Okay. I wonder if there are any different hairstyles. Or if it's just what you can usually wear. Okay, yeah, it's just the usual. We'll keep this cute little hairstyle for now. Is there anything else we can look at here? <laughs> Looks like you could fit a lot of stuff in this box. Incredible. That's super helpful. There are nameplates for Lottie, Nico, and Wardell. You know, I'm feeling like I'm being left out. Is there a nameplate for me on here? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Do you need three stars to play the expansion? I'm not sure, honestly. I literally just uh, <laughs> opened the game and Tom Nook called me. Let me look at these two. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this little phone. Is this baby? Look at all of this. The plant too. Okay, incredible. You look so official and the fit is just right. Fantastic. Well, now that you're all decked out in the official garb, let me just say, welcome to Paradise Planning. Oh, did I forget to tell you about our name? We're Paradise Planning. It rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Our goal is to help our clients live out their dreams in vacation homes of their very own, so we have to get to know them on a personal level to deliver on that promise. I just know you'll be great at it, Lex. Okay, that's a lot of pressure to put on me right now, like... <laughs> Now I think it's best to learn on the job, so I'd like to get you started right away. Okay. I'm here to help you as much as I can, but remember, I'm here. What I mean is, I can't leave the office. Is she Isabel? Not to worry, however. Nico will be joining you for your client consults. You got it, Lottie. Nico's so good. You can even call me boss. Oh my god. I mean, if you want, boss. <laughs> he is so cute. I can't, I can't figure out what to do. Oh my gosh. All right, now all we need to do is find some clients. Who's it gonna be? Is that Ellie? No, it isn't. Is that, mm, who is this? Eloise. Well, isn't this a darling little office? Are you patronizing us? I've heard this is the place to be when one is looking for a vacation home tailored to one's needs, yes? Do we each get a different first villager? In order to, like, do the first house, do we each get different ones? Indeed, we are taking orders if you could join me over here. Actually, today just so happens to be the first day we are taking orders for our vacation homes. Well, what splendid timing. Now then, I've been a visitor here many times and this island always helps me feel relaxed. I suppose the atmosphere just suits me. Do you know what I mean? In any case, I think it would be quite marvelous to have my own little getaway. The thing is, I haven't the slightest idea about how to make such a thing happen. That's what we're here for. No worries at all. We'll do our best to make your dreams come true. Just tell your hopes and dreams to Lex and they'll get started right away. Just tell me... All your hopes and dreams. Just tell me, just tell me all of them. Come on, let's all have a seat in our new meeting area. Now we can meet like professionals. And ooh, okay, so it is Eloise for everyone. Interesting, interesting. 
Look at how cute this is. Okay, Lottie, I thought you just said you can't leave the office. You liar. Tell us all about it. Paint us a picture. Do you have any thoughts on how you'd like to spend time at your vacation home? I can think of nothing else, and I'm very particular. I have some furniture I'd like to use no matter what. You see, my ideal place is like... Oh, a reading room! That is so cute. That really speaks to me. I'm a writer and reading is my favorite thing to do. So thank you, Eloise, for being so cool. That's a wonderful theme. Yes, it is. Our client has a dream. Please fulfill that dream, Lex. I feel like they're just putting a lot of pressure on someone who has just gotten here. As for the location, I've had my eyes on a particular small island near here. It's the one that looks like... Oh yes, that island. Well then, you'll need to head to the site to complete the next step of the process. Good luck with the client at the job site. Nico will take you by boat. Once you're on location, you can get to work right away. I can't wait to see how it all works out. That was precious. This was her outside meeting area, so technically still her office. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She lied. And here we are. Watch your step. So that's going to be my vacation home. I'm so excited. Can we go see what the inside is like? Absolutely, queen. You bet. Come on, let's go. I feel like I'm in Dora the Explorer. Oh my, what could be in these packages? I promise I haven't been shopping online yet. Oh yeah, these are the furnishings you requested earlier. Talk about service, I only just made that request and my order is already here. That's right, we're so impressive, honestly. Now we've got some prep to do first, so I'll need you to hang on for just a minute or two. Okay, newbie, this is it, the show, the real deal, the big time. Obviously, the stuff the client orders shows up ahead of time. Take it out of the box with A, and then it's your job to arrange it and, you know, make it look nice. But before we get to work, let's just real quick go over how work works. First up, get into decorating mode by pressing the down arrow. It makes designing rooms as easy as key lime pie. You can check the furniture available by pressing the right arrow, so pick some stuff up. No. So pick some stuff that matches the client's concept. Design until the designing's done, then report to the client and the job is finished. Does that cover it? Yeah, I think that covers it. I cannot believe we're on the DLC right now. It feels like yesterday was October 15th when we were just hearing about it and now I'm like, about to design a home in the DLC? I can't. Okay, Eloise, we're all set so it's time to get to work. Wonderful, thank you so much. I'm so excited to see the finished product, Lex. No pressure though, right? No pressure. I'll be around, so let me know if you run into any trouble. Now show us what you got. Okay, I'd just like to say, first of all, that I absolutely am not an interior designer, so this should be interesting. All right. Can they get the heck out of- do they just watch? Like, that is so- go away. Respectfully. What are we gonna do here? Not me putting it away. You'll also find other items under order that are likely to fit the client's requested concept. When in doubt, look to these for inspiration. Okay. Can we- yes, okay. Since it's a vacation home, I think we'll go for white. So let's get rid of this one and this and this. And we're going to get different customizations. This feels like a fun tropical kind of thing, like some fun little books to read on vacation. We'll do that. And then we will do this one. Do her reactions matter? Like, if she has the surprise reaction, is she like, oh, that's ugly? Because first of all, shut up. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. 
So this is one of the new arts. We can do typography, trees, pancakes, vintage, an ad, which no thanks, a photo, and birds. This feels tropical. We'll go with uh we'll go with birds. Is there any rhyme or reason to this so far? No. Let's see what walls we're working with. We want something very light. That kind of blends in with the picture though. What would be a cute wall color? Hello, honey bee. Thank you for joining. We are just exploring ways to make Eloise's dream home. Okay, that's actually cute. Let's do that. And we can do white flooring. Do any of these rugs look good at all? Oh my gosh, I forgot that I did. Okay, absolutely not. Ugly. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. All right, let's see what we can do here. We'll put that over there. Look at that, we're already like halfway done. We're already halfway done. It's great. It's great. Just puts these items and that's it. Let's see what else we should- Oh my gosh, we can put some of this. Let's put this in. Look how cute that is! I cannot- I cannot look at how precious- Look at how precious. Okay. Somebody said the 4x4 four four rug looks great. Which one though? Oh, I guess it's just this one. Okay, that was actually smart because that's real cute. Okay. What is the room missing? Everything right now. We'll be fine though. Look at all these new items. Ranch low board. Large cafe table. Yes. A large magazine rack. Let's give her a simple vanity. We'll just see where this goes. Oh my gosh, now I can use a sh chef flora. Sh chef flora. <laughs> we love to see it. We'll put two of these, just for funsies, framing the room. Maybe we won't do this, is that she just gets one room, which is sad. But the goal is to make a whole reading room. So I feel like I should focus on that. Is this designing a new house for a new villager? Yes, so we're making a vacation home for Eloise. She is not new to the game, but she is a cutie. Look at this, open wooden shelves. Seaside flowers. I kind of like the forest photo. Train photo, monochrome photo. I think we'll go with... Maybe we'll do seaside since this is like a tropical vacation home. We can put that over here and center it with the window. What sort of stuff do we have here? Ice lemon tea. Look at this little water. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. For a reading room, I feel like it would make sense to have one of these bad boys. Let's do pink for her. And then... Would you need a humidifier right by the beach? I don't know. Let's do a little fragrance diffuser so she feels fancy. The way I'm just like winging these colors, incredible. Look at me go. So fancy, 12 out of 10. It said the orders would also have items that would supposedly go well with the client's request. So we'll look through these a little bit. I guess we should give her a lamp to read by. That's so cute, the texture on that lamp. Okay. We'll do light blue to keep with our little theme we got going.
Look how cute that is. You know, I don't know if I was like, if I was gonna have a reading room myself, I don't know if I would choose such a hard, like seemingly uncomfortable chair. I don't know, I just don't feel like that's the vibe, but go off, Eloise. I wish all of these different whites in the room matched at least, but it's fine, I guess. We've got a whole lot of books here. What should we put between the bookshelves? This is a ranch tea table. Oh my gosh, if I don't stop clicking on those. Okay. None of these would really match the vibe, I don't think. But I feel like we need something there. Back to the basics, back to the basics. And I think this will match the, uh, the bookshelves pretty well. And we'll find something else to put here. What would Eloise want for a day to herself? What's in orders? I feel like I would like a TV here, but then that could be a distraction. Maybe another lamp for funsies. I wish you could change the base color. That's fine. And maybe a book. It says she could also like a radio. But we could also do a magazine. Kenny, thank you so much for the super chat news. You can build multiple homes on one island. I feel like, uh, whatchamacallit, I feel like I saw that from another YouTuber, but I can't remember who. Kimberly, not to nitpick, but her name is pronounced Eloise. My bad, my bad. I will focus on improving. I feel like this is such a bad room, but it's cool. It's whatever. I'm also pretty limited in terms of what furniture to use, and I'm assuming it's the same case for everyone. These are stellar. I want to put them somewhere. Maybe above the window. Maybe I'll just put one for now. What else do we have for wall mounted? Oh, KK Lullaby. I wonder if that's her favorite song or if that's just a random thing that they've included here. We could also look at some floral swag. I wonder if the blue would vibe. It was cute. I feel like I've put my, it's like, okay. I don't like how, because of the bookshelf, it looks like this is off centered. What does it look like if you're not on the wall? Yeah, I don't like that. So for those of you who also have the Happy Home Designer or Paradise, Happy Home Paradise? Yeah. For those of you who also bought it, what did you do for this first room? What were the vibes? What was the aesthetic? Did you also go with more of a blue tropical theme? Like, is it a reading room for everyone? I'm assuming so. I'd be really curious to see how everyone went about designing. We can put more of these babies down. I've been looking forward to this item so much. Her favorite song is KK Jazz. Interesting. I don't think I've ever had Eloise on my island before, which is kind of wild considering how many islands I've had. I guess not when you consider how many villagers there are. There are quite a few. Look at this. We're gonna vibe with it. Eloise, you are so lucky that I'm here with my <laughs> incomparable, incredible interior design skill. 
They really just put me in the trenches. Can this be white? Yes, it can also be blue, cute. Let's throw some of these on the wall just for fun. I feel like vacation homes always have like extra wall decor, like way more than you actually need. Let's see here. Let's put another one of these on this wall just to match. We're going for symmetry as always. Okay. You know, I'm kind of vibing with this. Look at how it's come along. I feel like the middle of the room is so empty though. We do have couch options. Would this vibe with the room? Oh my gosh, it would. Okay. What if we did one of these numbers? Just pulled everything a little bit forward. That's kind of ugly. <laughs> I want to use this couch, but I'm like, literally how? Literally how do I incorporate this? Maybe if we do a little finagling here. That looks weird though. Okay, don't let's not move the the rug. That's fine. No, this should definitely be on the other side since we've got that little board against the window. Maybe we'll just swap the lamp and the table and it'll be fine. I am so sorry if there are like interior designers in the chat who are like what are you doing? Maybe we should just get rid of this completely. Look at that. Still not 100%. Mine was not symmetrical at all. You know, that's cool. What if I just moved this whole thing? No, I kind of like it better with the... Please come forward. I kind of like it better with a table back there. Please. I just feel like there should be something against this wall. But if I move the chair back, it's like an awkward distance from the couch. We had a real vibe going before I started moving everything around. Now I'm kind of wondering if this rug goes. Not that there were any better options though. Maybe we'll just leave it and we'll just, uh, we'll just finish. Is it ready? Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Do you have to use? Oh, because I got, okay, never mind. I got rid of the one item, the book stacks. We'll just put that back out. I was like, wait, do they have to stay the same customization? But no, I just completely put these away. Incredible. I had one job. Where should we even put these? I'll just get rid of this lamp that was already kind of extra and we'll put them here. ka -chow. We love it. We love to see it.
Thank you, Nico. Eloise, please forgive me. You did it! Thank you! Oh my gosh! That is so cute! That little animation! Add another couch, you know? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Can you edit things that you've made later, or is this just forever? Does the HHD give you items to use for the villagers? Yeah, so they had like prearranged items that I was allowed to use in this room. I didn't bring any myself. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Do I need Nintendo Online membership to play the DLC? I think if you bought it and it's already downloaded to your Switch, you'll be fine, but I can't confirm. I definitely do have the membership, so I guess I wouldn't know if I didn't have access to it. Oh, it's exactly how I imagined it. No, it's even better. It's the flattery for me. Oh, I'm so glad I asked you to do this. Thank you so very much, Lex. It's marvelous. <laughs> Eloise giving me an ego. Well, look at you. Your first job is a huge success. I can't wait to tell Lottie about the great work you did. In the direct, they said you could go back and remodel and you get more furniture and learn, learn more techniques. That's good to know. Thank you. Welcome back. So how did it go with our first client? Tell me everything, Lex. I was a little nervous. It went perfectly. You have to manifest confidence. The client was thrilled. I'm super impressed with how professionally Lex handled it all. That's so great. The more happy clients we have, the more our business will grow. I think the sky's the limit, and I'm so glad you've joined the team. And thanks for all your help, Nico. Our newcomer is in great hands with you. I love how they keep calling me the newcomer and newbie. So I'm assuming after this, we get to a point where we can just choose whose vacation home we make? This is for you, Lex. Am I getting paid? You didn't think you'd be working for free, did you? Here's what you've earned so far. 6,000 pokey. That's another important detail I should have mentioned. In this region of islands, we use pokey instead of bells as our everyday currency. You won't be able to spend pokey back home on Lorien, nor can you spend bells here. We may not have a lot for sale here right now, but I'm sure you'll find a few things you like. Bestie, you don't even know. Anyway, thanks again for all of your work so far. Come see me when you're ready for another job. When does it come out for PDT? So I think it comes out for midnight every time zone. So I think two more hours for you. We are buying one of these. And one of these. A banker's lamp is more expensive than whatever the heck I just bought. What are these? Those are souvenir chocolates. They are sweet and yummy. A truly great gift. Oh my gosh. Okay, I want to buy one. That's so cute. 4,000 pokey for this public telephone. Jeez. I'm too broke for that. What are these? 4,000 for the beach chairs with a parasol. And then there's also what looks like a lawn chair. Outdoor folding chair. We can afford it, so we'll get it. I'm in Pacific and it has been out since 9.30 p.m. What the heck? Well, that's good to know, though. So it still came out for 9 p.m. for PDT. So if you're in PDT, you should be able to access this. What do we do now? Do we just, like, go outside? Look at me go. I'd like to get you out there and promote our vacation homes. Last time the client came to our office, but the truth of it is you can't depend on walk-ins. Luckily, we've got a really talented staff. That includes you, and a talent I want you to develop is sales. And so I want you to chat with the vacationers on the island and offer our services to them. You'll do great. It's not that hard. Folks will buy anything if you convince them they need it. 
What in the capitalism? Trust in yourself and go with the flow. You'll be making deals in no time. Good luck out there. Gracie, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do. There's little Nico! Hi, King. Your head is literally glowing right now. Oh, look at his little face! I'm never going to be able to focus on work because look at that little baby face. Oh, ew. I don't like either of these visitors. They must be thinking vacation home, right? All you have to do is look in their eyes and it's almost like you can read their minds. Yep, the ones who are dreaming of living in paradise have it written all over their faces. Well, when you're ready to make your pitch, all you need to do is try talking to them. Good luck. Do we only get two? I want a luxury home with its own hot spring, nothing less. Its own hot spring? I'd simply adore having my own swim club. Oh my gosh, here's another one, okay. I need a place to work out to the rhythm of music. Are there any more villagers? I also just kind of want to walk around. Look at these little birds. I just scared it away, I'm so sorry. And this archway, I wish we could have these on our island. Look at this. This is like our first official look at the island though, since we immediately got taken to the office before. Look at this view! That was cute. I'm stealing. Don't mind me, I'm just taking all of the natural flora home with me. Don't even worry about it. Tabitha, thank you so much for subscribing. I need these, it's not selfish, it's a need. Have you all seen the new like, uh, what are they called? Like the glowing moss dress? It is so precious. Bestie, you are now selling timeshares. I don't even know what a timeshare is, so. Clara, hello. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. Everyone say hi to our mod. Let's see. Okay, I won't get all of them, but that's so cool. Also, look, I'll say it. Whoever at Nintendo was in charge of terraforming this island and the Kappen Islands, they really did a good job. They really pulled it off. Look how cute this is. I wonder what this building will eventually be. It kind of reminds me of a hospital. And this one is like a school. Let's look on the other. What is this? Oh, these are the little umbrellas. These umbrellas are so cute. And what are the buildings on this side? No clue, but cute. I feel like, I hope it has this kind of little room attachment. I feel like it's just going to be a rectangle room like always though. Cute. Also, there's a seating area back there. This is so precious. I wish we could bring home these things and put in our water. Look at the little bird. Him is baby. All right, all right, we're going. I need to pick one of these villagers. So do we want to do a swim club, a hot spring, a luxury home with a hot spring? Or do we want to do a place to work out to the rhythm of music? I feel like maybe we should do a hot spring. That's what I'm thinking. What can I do for you, quack? That reminds me of Bob. Bob's catchphrase is like, pth -th -th. something like that. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, you build vacation homes, do you? Consider me intrigued. Well, you see, I've reached the point in my life where I'm quite successful and I'd like to enjoy a vacation home. I knew I could count on you. Now, I must warn you, I'm quite detail-oriented. Let's get into it. 
I'm excited about this one, a luxury home. I'm so excited to discuss the details of my home with you. My ideal vacation home would be something along these lines. Okay, those are cute items too. Like, I am not mad at it. Now let's decide on the location for your vacation home. Have you given this any thought? A location. I'm not familiar with this area at all. Why don't you suggest one for me? She wants a hot spring. Are there like volcanoes on the map? Suggesting location. Each of the tiny islands in this area has its own characteristics. You can change the season at the location by using X. You can also build multiple vacation homes on the same island. This is kind of cute. This is also kind of cute. So is this. I feel like we definitely need a summer island. Look at Elo Eloise. I almost said Eloise again. Oops. Hmm. I don't know which one to go with. I'm honestly kind of thinking this one. Tilly, you can use a duster to create like a, a sort of effect on the furniture that you dust. It's like really cute. Or is the, no, that's polishing. The duster is just cute, I think. It's just a cute little thing. It's like what the villagers use when you're at their house. Oh my, isn't that gorgeous? It's settled. That is the place for me. I'm just a genius. What can I say, Mallory? Alright, for the next step in the process, you'll need to head to the site. Would you mind accompanying the client there now, Lex? I know you're going to knock it out of the park. I guess we'll see. I just autofilled and got Raymond. That is very lucky. I personally love Raymond. I think he is a cutie. Seeing it in person like this is every bit as nice as the photo. I adore it. You deserve this, queen. You found a good location. That's great, Lex. I'll be waiting here till you're done. If things go sour, come talk to me for advice anytime. You got this. If you want to set up the yard as well, just press the down arrow to enter decorating mode. Try it out whenever you want to propose a yard design. I am on pins and needles to see what you'll do with it from here, quack. So are we also doing the interior? Yes, I assume so. Let's go. So we've got a cypress bath, this little rattan towel basket, and the deer scare. Let's see what's on this. I feel like the first place I need to go always is walls. I feel like I never know what to do aside from the walls. Like until I figure out a wall, it's just no design means anything. Oh, this is cool. This is a vibe already. Okay, okay. Simple medium avocado mat. Simple small. I feel like we need to change the color of the cypress bath. So we'll get rid of this. Maybe move this to the corner with the cypress bath. I wonder if we have access to stools. This is cute. What other colors does it come in? Look how cute this little stool is. Oh my gosh. Let's try green. Okay, I actually kind of like the brown better. Let's see what this looks like on here.
This is a vibe so far. We're gonna go with it. Look at us go. Look at us go. I feel like maybe this color. Maybe I should try them all. Never mind, it'll be this one. Get rid of that. Now, what to do on this other side of the room? You know, we've pretty successfully used everything already, though. Look at us. Look at us go. Oh, this is cool. A Zen low board. I feel like I don't have any cute patterns that I could use in mind. These are the new designs that we can get from Sable. I did manage to grab those today. Maybe we'll try this one. That is cute, look at it, okay. Can we place things on the low board, I wonder? We can, oh my gosh, okay. I actually love this. Everything about this, incredible. The little duck. Does it fit the aesthetic for this room? Absolutely not. Is it still absolutely precious? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, look at these vases. We've got a small vase. Let's see what it can look like. Botanical, waves and cranes, daffodils, flowers and birds, and flowers and butterflies. These are exquisite. Okay. Let's try botanical. Thank you, Aesthetic Edits, for subscribing. I wonder what the other size vase would look like in the room. Oh, look at that. The crane's design. Okay, I actually kind of like the original color better for this room specifically. I really am just casually throwing this together. Are we thinking one vase or two? Also, hello Tyler, welcome to the stream. We're trying to decide on a luxury hot spring home for Mallory right now kind of overhead options do we have here? We have a zen light. That seems promising. We'll do dark wood to match the aesthetic we have going. Cute. We should also look at wall decor. Maybe get some hanging scrolls. I've always thought those were so cute, but I've never really had anywhere to use them. Samantha, thank you so much for subscribing. I kind of, I kind of dig the fish. Let's do that, and let's do two of them on these like boards on the wall. I feel like that fits. Now I feel like I should go back to the more muted stools. Maybe this as well. What other colors can these be? White, gray, black. You know, honestly, I feel like brown fits the best. Never mind. Leave those be. 
how do you get the patterns? So you get the patterns by talking to Sable in the Able Sisters shop. If you haven't already, if you just keep talking to her day by day, you'll slowly form a friendship with her and then she will share different patterns with you that you can use to customize your items. That is ugly, okay. I wish this would fit alongside what I've already got going on, but it would overlap with these other rugs. So we'll have to get rid of that. But it feels plain, the floor here. I feel like we still need something. A little entrance to the room. Oh, look at this shoji divider. Oh, that is gorgeous. Transparent art. Panels. Kumiko woodworking. That's gorgeous. Colorful and Japanese painting. How incredible is this? Let's look at the transparent art, I think. We'll delete that. We don't even need it anymore. <clears throat> Excuse me. We could also put it here. But I feel like it would make more sense. In front of the actual baths. Maybe bring them more to the center. You know, I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging it. I want to make sure I haven't missed anything really cool. Look at these Japanese dressers. There are so many more items in the game now. I feel like it's hard to even grasp emotionally. <laughs> A projection screen. That's cool. I definitely feel like we need some sort of plant. What is this? I am screaming. Should I replace these with this? Look at how cute it is. It even has a little hanging scroll inside. I also love these little low shelves though. I say as I'm literally taking them out of the room. It looks bad from the front, but from this angle, from this angle, it looks good. For Happy Home Paradise, can we use any furniture or just the one we already own on our island? So uh, when you go to the island, they'll give you furniture that you can use. Like I don't have any of these new items, like these screens and all. Never seen these in my life. These, I don't know what these are, but they give you like a set registry of furniture that you're allowed to use. I'm thinking of maybe going back to the low shelves just because these are annoying to look at from behind. Also, look, we finally get to look at the wooden box. I'm so glad they finally gave us a crate actually in the game. Let's find these again. Dark wood. What did I even have on this one? I feel like it was a food item. This, I believe. So should I just go outside now? I guess so. I'm content with this. Here you go, queen. Someone needs to break me of my symmetry. Oh, <laughs> Brett, I just read your comment at the same time as I said that. Bestie, you were the queen of symmetry. Someone needs to get me under control because I lean on symmetry so much. Okay. Fence, path building mode, change time and weather, change the season, place furniture or plants. 
this is so cool. It's kind of daunting to be learning this in front of an audience, but you all are being such good sports. Thank you, Allison, for subscribing. Welcome. Redesigning infrastructure, you can change the look of homes, bridges, and inclines by placing the cursor on them and pressing X. Bet. We're gonna change this to suspension to match the vibe. This is definitely not the vibe. I feel like we need dark siding for this one. This doesn't feel fancy enough. Thank you, Lucy, for subscribing! I think we'll leave it with this one and change the roof. Thank you so much, Tabitha, for subscribing! gosh you can add a wreath I'm crying none of these scream hot spring uh <laughs> whatever what if we put one of these I need to decide what like color theme I'm going for outdoors okay that's actually really adorable Look at that. Now we just have to decide how to decorate this entire exterior. I think we'll keep it summer. But I want to make it like, yeah. That is like hot spring energy. Okay. Look at us go. Is it too dark? Maybe I should put it one before. Okay, this is a vibe. Let's see what we can do here. I wish they gave us some of the new... Do we get any of the newer trees? What are these? Decorated! Oh my gosh, you can spawn the decorated cedar tree. How precious is that? I'm crying. We can also put some vines up, some glowing moss rocks I feel like we should do bamboo trees Mallory Queen I'm gonna need you to get the heck out of the way oh my gosh Nico can you please just scoot over be a polite young person okay let's see where we can place is this two I feel like that's too close to the house. Oh my gosh, Zeta, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for being an amazing content creator and an all around genuinely fantastic person. That is so kind of you to say. Hope you're enjoying the update and DLC as much as we are enjoying watching you play it. You make YouTube a brighter place. Thank you. You are absolutely so kind and I appreciate that so much. Let's see. I'm kind of feeling some palm trees now that I'm seeing. I wish I could just get rid of this right here. Like, what is this water? It's making it where I can't put a tree over there. Oh my gosh, no, it's not. Okay, we're good. We're good. Am I stupid? Okay. <laughs> Mallory acted surprised. Queen, it's okay. Trust me. We'll get through this. Can you see the roots of the tree? Look at that! You can see the roots for this tree! Why is that so wild to me? Okay. Here we have- let's get rid of these. These are not the bushes for this area, I don't think. Okay. I need to decide what the goal for this is. I definitely think we should have some of these. 
Yeah, these are cute. What does that look like? I wish we could get it slightly closer to the door, but okay, okay. We're figuring things out. I wonder if we have access to a hammock. No, we do not. So we're just going to have to wing it here. I think the outdoor bath will be a good move. Maybe in brown. Is that too bright? I'm not sure. I think it is. I guess we'll lean some more on Cypress bath toms. Okay, I'm thinking drag this here. Thank you so much, Kristen, for subscribing. We'll put this bad boy right in the middle here. Maybe drag it forward one so we can fit some stuff behind there. But what? Please, okay. That's kind of a vibe. That do be kind of cute, you know? Do you do you see what I'm going for? You see the aesthetic? Do you see it kind of being created here? <laughs> How many words can Lex say in one second? Okay. I don't know if I like that or if I'd prefer some flowers. I really love that you can just choose flowers. That is 100% a vibe. Okay, that is kind of precious. I've already forgotten. Okay. Can you choose which path you're doing? Yes, you can. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're going to lay some path here. Y'all, this is incredible. I can't believe I'm never going to play the game on my island again. How am I supposed to go back to regular terraforming after this? <laughs> this is so much easier. So we are creating, we are creating a vibe. James, would you say hi to my wife, Kate? Hello, Kate. Thanks for being here, a little bestie. Y'all, I can't believe how easy it is to build like this. This is a travesty. Let's see what else we can do here. We can choose some fencing. Oh my gosh, I can access the new fences here. Okay. We can also see which ones are customizable. That's interesting. So vertical board fence can be white, black, green. That's gorgeous. Blue, pink, yellow, and purple. Oh, I meant to look at the customizations. The simple wooden fence can be white. Finally, we have our white picket fences. Brown, black, green. Again, with the green. These are so cute. Bree, thank you so much for subscribing. Blue, pink, and purple. What else can we do? We can do large lattice fencing. We have been spoiled. We have been spoiled. I actually really like the lattice fencing. I feel like it's so underused in general. Underrated fence. The iron fence. I feel like it's going to be used a lot more now that it can be different colors. Because the blue is just really not it. What do they call it? Light blue. I feel like it wasn't usable for a lot of themes. But this is gorgeous. Okay. Park fence. This is going to be so cute for kid core. Maria, thank you so much for subscribing. Corrugated iron fence. I've never even seen this one. 
Not good for a luxury home, but very beautiful. And the frozen fence. I'm guessing this will match the customizations for the items. Seems like it. That's cool. Now to decide on a fence for this island. I feel like our queen deserves security. We could do zen. Oh my gosh, the zen fence is customizable. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I don't really usually feel like it fits the vibe whenever I try to use this fence, but let's try anyway. No, I don't like it. Update. Let's see what else we can do here. Because I want to use some kind of fencing. Maybe we'll try one of the different iron fences. We could try green. Maybe black. Look at, look at us go. Look at us go. I think that's good. What is this? But bamboo slats. That's also really cute. Okay, I think we're good on fences. Let's look at what other furniture and plants we could put out here. Please, one over. Thank you. I wish you could place things like weeds and flowers on half squares instead of them having to go with the full, like, one square of space. Like, I wish I could place a moss between this square and this square. Okay. I think we need some more of these. I feel like we're really, we're really going here. We'll do that for some more symmetry. I feel like some flowers would look good here on either side of the log stakes, but which ones? Maybe we'll just stick to our guns and use some more yellow pansies. Y'all, I'm really digging how this is coming out. I kind of like it. Okay. Can we also edit these cliffs? No. I don't like those bushes back there, but it's cool. It's cool. Okay. So vines, I think, now would be good. No. Wait, can you move where the house is? No way. I didn't even think about that. Like, I didn't even think to try. Okay. Now we've got some vines creeping up back there. Maybe dot a few more pansies around for cohesion. Look at Mallory reacting. I've got you, queen. You can trust me. Okay. I wish we could make up the rocks, like, mossy. No, you still can't put rocks by the water. That's sad. Or by trees. Interesting. So you can't rotate the rocks either, I guess. That's fine, that's fine. This rock won't go anywhere where I would like it. Okay, little bestie, you're gonna have to go. Let's see if there's any more furniture I would like to keep here. Maybe some rocks, that would be cool. I 
I'm vibing, I'm vibing. Let's move it some more over here. Cover that cliff face a little bit, maybe. Can we do that? Yes, okay. Maybe do some more uh, glowing moss as well over there. That was such a cool thing for them to add, by the way, this glowing moss. I could never have imagined being able to use this in the game. Honestly, I feel like it's really coming together. I don't know what else I should add. Maybe one of these outside. Allison, thank you for subscribing. We could maybe do one of these in order to tie it together with the indoors build. Maybe have one of these right here. Is there anything else that would look good out here? Isn't there a mossy version of- Yes! This is what we love to see. Delete that clean one. This can go back here, kind of guiding your little nightly walk. We'll take another moss back here. Honestly, I'm pretty much happy with it now, you know? I think we're good to go. I think we're good on path, too. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, yeah. I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. How is my vacation home coming along? Is it ready? It's ready. You did it. Thank you. You've dedicated so much of your time to my vacation home. I could not be happier. Did I incorporate that much of my time? I don't know. Oh my gosh, hi Casey, how are you tonight? Do you have the DLC? Have you been playing? The Relaxing Hot Spring Resort, brought to you by Lex. This is so cute. Not me getting it as it transitioned, incredible. Mallory is such a cutie. I can't believe I like her now as a villager. <laughs> She's just behind the bamboo tree. Maybe we'll learn ways that we can also decorate the cliffs. Oh my gosh, V, you're so kind. How dare you be so good at this game? You know, terraforming and decorating, those are my passions. Interior design, not so much. I'm glad I got this style though, because just experiencing doing the path so easily, incredible. Oh yes, photographs. You should take this opportunity to snap a few photos of this lovely vacation home. I'd be happy to. You have a camera app on that Nook phone of yours, yes? Use that to take your photos. Okay, bossy. Speaking of cameras, we have a design portfolio with photos of the properties that we've handled. Would it be okay with you if we showed yours in there? Of course, darling. This is so professional. Good luck with your photographs. If you take a good one, please let me know. This reminds me of the wedding event. Oh my gosh, hi, Inna. Thanks for stopping by. How are you? Have you tried the DLC yet? Now that the home is decorated and complete, you can press left arrow to change outfits and bottom arrow to move folks around okay we are in fact gonna do that queen we gotta dress you up these outfits are not vibing with her purple fur do ducks have fur? I don't know. Couldn't be me. We'll just go with this one. YOLO. Let's see. Can you please just <laughs> rotate on the seat? We're 
we're really doing this right now. Oh my gosh, look at her little fork! Crying. Okay. Displaying or hiding characters, press an L to hide or show a character. You can change which character it's hidden by pressing an L again. Hiding is not possible with a Joy-Con controller held horizontally. I just disappeared! Oh my god! <laughs> this is incredible. Okay. We're just gonna take a picture of her being a queen in her little spa. That was the one. How did it go? Did you get your photograph? Do you think it's a good one? I'm sure you do, dear. I sure did, little besties. <laughs> Ducks have feathers. <laughs> you know, you're right. Um, Don't even look at me right now. Don't even look at me right now. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I just added gosh. Now there's a photograph that I wouldn't be too embarrassed to show others. Look how cute she is in the photo. Lex, thank you for everything today and keep up the good work out there, quack. Y'all, that was actually so fun. Like that decorating experience was actually 12 out of 10. Really enjoyed that one. Welcome back, how did things go out there? The client was really pleased with the results. So that's another job well done. Way to go, Lex. Thanks. Here's the 6,000 pokey you earned for this job. So I wonder if we get more as we learn more skills or if it's just a 6,000 pokey across the board forever. Jessica, thank you for subscribing. Thank you, Lottie. Starlord, thanks for subscribing. The client asked us to take the photo and also gave us permission to use it as an example of our work. Oh my gosh, Anna, I didn't even think about that. I need to follow your HHP code. I have literally not even learned how to do that yet. Oh my gosh, maybe she teaches us now. I've been using an app to organize information on all of the properties we've worked on. Adding photos will make it easier to see what sort of design we used for a given vacation home at a glance. Let's test it out now. Can you pull out your phone so I can send you the app? Lay it on me, Lottie. The little monkey is so cute. I know! I got a raise and I got 9k pokey. We love to see it. We love to see it. So I guess we do get raises, which we deserve. You can check info on the vacation homes you've worked on at any time with that Happy Home Network app. Oh no. Not us having a spammer in the chat. Now then, can I get that photo you took? I'll try to add it right now. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Relaxing hot spring resort. Looks like it worked and I think the design looks great. I think we'll use the photos in the app to advertise Paradise Planning's design portfolio. So you should be proactive while adding photos when you work on future vacation homes, all right? Thanks for your help. Ooh, TJ, I'm not sure why it wouldn't show up for you, but I restarted my Switch in order to get it to trigger for mine. Um, it should have been live from 12, so it should have gone live about two hours ago. Thank you, Mel, for subscribing. Do you want to call it a day or work a little longer? We're going to keep working, bestie. Let's go. Would you mind going back to Eloise's home and getting a good shot? Oh, not that home. I don't like that home. We want to keep our clients happy, so they'll tell folks about our attention to detail. Ask Nico to take you over to Eloise's place. I'll call ahead so Eloise will ex know to expect you, thanks. I don't want to go back there. Lottie threatening you to be proactive, I know. Alrighty, where is our King Nico? Oh my gosh, is he gonna take us in the little boat? Wait, that Sprinkle! Sprinkle is gonna want a home! 
incredible. Wadi caught me up. Shall we go right now? Let's go. On the Monkey Boat Express. I'm gonna scream. He is so deserving of love. Absolute king. It might be even easier if you tell me using the Happy Home Network. Mind trying it now? Choose Eloise's place and hit visit. It's easy, I promise. Let's check it out. I love the aesthetic of this whole thing that's going on. This is so cool. Okay. We're gonna visit. Look at Eloise. Oh my gosh. Welcome. Lottie told me to expect you, Toot. I was thrilled when she said you'd be coming by. I wanted so much to thank you again. Once I actually spent time here, I realized just how wonderful it really is. Thank you, Lex. It's really not that good, but you are absolutely so welcome. Hear that, Lex? That there is a fan of your work. Now, if you have any problems at all, please don't hesitate to check in with us at the office. If you want to redecorate or move, we are here to help. I was speed reading and not reading aloud. That's my fault. My bad. Take as many as you like and all the time you need to. We're going to take some photos. I really feel like we should redesign the outside of our house. I have all the time in the world, so just shutterbug to your heart's content. Whatever, Eloise. Oh my gosh, she's done her share of modeling. We love a model queen. And feel free to direct me too. If you want me to stand in a certain spot or the like, just let me know. Will do, queen. Posting photos to the HHN, the Happy Home Network. You can replace the photo of that location by taking another, then pressing the plus sign. Only the last photo taken can be used as a replacement. That's a lot of pressure, I feel like. Honestly, Eloise's outfit kind of vibes already with this room, but I want to see if there's anything else that would look even better. Thank you so much, Mariah, for subscribing. What if we gave her a little hairpin? Look at that. Look at that. I think we'll leave her in her original outfit. Thank you, Neon Roses, for subscribing. All right. This will be fine, I guess. I'm trying to make sure I haven't gotten any of the corner in the shot. That should be good. I forgot to hide myself. No! We're really gonna have to do that. Oh no, I could have pressed it from the camera, duh. Let's get right in front of Eloise. Don't even look at us, Eloise. Don't even look. Okay. <laughs> I love how you just disappear. You're just gone. What's the best angle for this terrible room I've designed? We'll just take this one and go. YOLO. Lottie's gonna be like, did you try really hard? And I'm gonna be like, no. Nope. Ah, Britt, good point. Everyone, remember to like the stream. It means a lot to me. If you're here, if you're enjoying, I would appreciate a like. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at the little icon. You can't see it because of the cat, but the little icon for the Happy Home Paradise is so cute. Welcome back. I saw the photo you just took. It's already been uploaded to the Happy Home Network app. It gave me a good sense for what you think is important to highlight in a vacation home. You did such a good job. By the way, how did things go with the client? Any issues to report? None at all. That's great to hear. Still, from now on, it might be good to add occasional client visits into your routine. We definitely need to go back to Eloise and decorate the exterior of her home. 
Fanzies, thank you for subscribing. Happy customers are repeat customers after all. Oh, look at Nico. You deserve all the praise, little baby. Based on your services, this time you've earned 2,000 pokey. Wow, just for taking a picture? Thanks for taking such a wonderful photo. I appreciate your help. Anything for you, Lottie dearest. Okay, do you want to call it a day or do you want to keep working a bit longer? <laughs> We're gonna work a little longer, queen. Also, we can buy some more stuff, so let's go do that. I think we can finally get this too, yay! Heck yeah. Look at him, we haven't spoken to him yet. Hello. He doesn't talk a lot, but he's a cutie. Look at us, little besties. He's so cute, okay. Let's go decide who to do a home for now. Ah, oh, Felice, did you just buy the, the DLC? Look at Sprinkle. I'll melt if I'm not surrounded by snow and ice. <gasps> Blair! No! Oh my gosh, Queen! Okay, so forget Sprinkle. Um, Blair is here now. Let's see if there's anyone new on this side or if we still have Vivian. We do still have Vivian. Oh my gosh, and Rolf. Isn't that Rolf? I think so. I'm not sure, honestly. I want a place to enshrine a sweet bat collection. Oh my gosh, he means, like, baseball. I really thought that he meant bat, like, bats that fly. I was very concerned for him. Not today, little bestie. Okay, let me stay at a place that's full of juicy, fresh fruit. And if I'll melt if I'm not surrounded by snow and ice. So we just need to decide which of these we want to go with. Tybalt, you're right, the blue tango. I don't know any of the tiger's names. Okay. Fresh fruit or ice? Fresh fruit or ice? I don't know. You know, I feel like the ice would be a challenge. Let's do sprinkle first. Oh, here comes a siren. Oh no. Did you happen to come here with dreams of your own happy vacation home too? Oh wait, I just realized you're one of the folks who make these tray chic vacay homes. So like, I'm at peak, I need a vacay palace right now. It's a problem I need to solve soon. Now maybe? Let's chat. You mean it? That's so awesome. Let's get building a vacation palace. I hope Blair doesn't leave. I want to give Wardell a big hug. Me too, Mina. Let's get this party started. For my dream vacay palace, I'm thinking of something like... Castle of Cold. <gasps> a slushy machine. Do are you all looking at this right now? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Let's go. Lex, they're coming for you. Do you mean the siren? It's always, it's always an adventure because my mom is a firefighter, so usually she knows exactly what's going on. Alright. So, uh, Sprinkle definitely wants ice. We just have to pick where... She wants a castle of cold, so I'm kind of like, this looks like a grand place to have your castle of cold. I think we'll do this one. Amazing. Perfecto. I can't wait to see it. Now sprinkle. Nicole! Oh my gosh. Thank you. For becoming a member. I just completely stopped in the middle of that sentence. We found an excellent location for you, but you'll need to see it for yourself before we begin. Lex, please lead Sprinkle to the site and best of luck. I'm so excited now. After that first one, or no, the second home we did, I'm really excited. Also, Nicole, as part of being a member, you have access to emotes and community posts. Thanks for joining. I hope you enjoy. Oh my gosh, this is the perfect spot. My vacay home will be right here. I'm super excited, Frappe. I didn't know that was her catchphrase. All right, Lex, I'm going to leave you to it. Please do. Castle of Cold. Let's do the outside first this time. 
like, we are gonna edit this bad boy. We can give them big homes. Oh my gosh. This looks like a snowy lodge kind of thing. So we're gonna do this one. We can make it a little cabin. Okay, now I'm like kind of stumped because I have no idea what the aesthetic for this area is gonna be. These doors look cool though. We'll have it be like that, that'll be cute. I wish we could use different wreaths. At least we get the snowflake one this time. Hello, Edward. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well today. Is this centered? As centered as it can be. Okay. Let's see what we're working with here. We could do decorated trees. I feel like she wants just like iciness though. Do we eventually unlock like hybrid flowers? Please say yes. We'll use these for now. Oh my gosh, you can't plant anything in this area? Like not even trees? I'm gonna cry, okay. Let's see how we can decorate it without any of the things I usually rely on. I'm thinking we should just keep the normal ice color. I guess that makes sense since she wants a castle of cold. That would be relying mostly on items rather than plants. But am I still mad about it? Yeah. Okay. I feel like this one is slightly further away. There we go. Okay, what next, little besties? Thank you, Katie, for subscribing. I wonder if there's any of the like new, new items here. Doesn't look like it. Ornament garland, let's look at this. Look at how precious this is! No way. Soul, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome, I hope you enjoy the emotes and everything else that you get with your membership. Look at us go. This is kind of a vibe. We're like figuring things. I just hit my microphone. My bad. We're figuring things out. What's the paths look like? I wonder if we can place paths if we can't plant things. No, we can't. Thanks for nothing, Sprinkle. Okay. Maybe we'll get some frozen sculptures for the entryway. I really wish we could make a path leading to the house. Okay, I think they're out of the way. Chloe, thank you so much for subscribing. We definitely need to introduce color somehow here. What if I just casually put some, uh, beach things out here. Maybe we'll go inside next and see if we can get inspired by an indoor aesthetic. I just welcome to them and no, stay outside. I don't need y'all staring at me. Alrighty. Let's see what we're working with here. These rooms are slightly bigger. Okay. I see, I see. I get it icy? Like this little icy machine? I'll shut up now. Here we go. Let's see the customizations for this. 
this is so cute. Once again, I'm just astonished by how much of this furniture could be used for kid core. Let's look at the wall options for this house. Oh my gosh, snowflake wall. What about flooring? Cloud flooring, iceberg, ice. Maybe we'll do that. Is there ice wallpaper? There's the falling snow wall. Okay, but she asked for a castle. Jana, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome. So let's do an ice wall so it feels like a castle. Thank you, Samantha, for subscribing. I feel like maybe the spiral chandelier would be a good idea for this room. We've got silver, gold, and black. I think we'll keep it silver. And maybe have them in the back of the room. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, I think. I agree, Mina. It is too icy to do, like, literally anything. Okay. Do I still have to use these things indoors if I've already used them outdoors? Like, if I get rid of this... Does it say in the orders that it's not here? No, it says we've already used it, so we don't actually have to use these items indoors if we use them outside. So we need to use this somewhere. Casual break room sector, anyone? So you can go over there to get your slushies. What are we- what is the goal here? Who knows? You get back where you were. have a little frozen partition here. This is like the kitchen. Nobody can go over there. Ice cream display. Oh my gosh. Let's get some ice cream in here. Are we making her a castle or a restaurant? Oh my gosh, please. Thank you, Picante, for subscribing. You know, it's a vibe. What can we put on top of the little counter? Decorative bottles. Meowrin, thank you for subscribing. Look at these little bottles! Oh my gosh, okay. Let's see if there's anything else of interest here. Would it have made more sense to use the frozen treat set? Yes. But am I excited about the bottles? Yes. I think we should add a little seating area now. Do we not have the frozen, like, couches? Aren't there? Isn't there like a frozen sofa? Maybe not. We'll use some chairs here. Are these spaced out evenly? I hope so. Maybe instead of this, we'll create yet more symmetry and just fill the entire back of the room. We love to see it. And now we can put a little table in the middle. Lottie is going to be like, girl, what are you doing? And I'm going to be like, I don't know. That's a good question. I feel like this would be cute, but does it fit anywhere? Absolutely not. It's too much. Now we can use some of these other items. Oh my gosh! Look at this mini snow person! What the heck? 
Alice, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely night. This is wild. Look at this little snow person. Okay, we're gonna use him. We have to. Look at him. He is doing his very best. I wish there was like an icy plant of some sort. Like, I know we have this tree, but it's like way too big. And I feel like green would be a weird addition to the room. Are we about to call it quits and just give her this little ice cream parlor? Absolutely. Let's go back outside, I guess. Is Eloise the first for everyone? Felice, I think she is because she was the first for me and everyone in the chat said that she was their first as well. So I think that's just like the generic first villager that you get. I have no clue what to put out here. Queen, why did you ask for a castle? Maybe I can come back later when I have more access to furniture and make it like a better castle aesthetic as opposed to whatever the heck we have going on right now. I wish there was a way to edit these to be white, like the bases for them. I forgot this wasn't 100% symmetrical, so now it's going to be weird with these trees. That's fine, it's not that noticeable. I think maybe we'll add even more tree. Look at us go. You know, this looks all right. Maybe we'll just call it quits for today since she asked for something that is so hard to make with <laughs> what we've been given. We can add a little snowman in the back. Look at that. We're gonna, we're gonna say this is good. Is everything ready, Frappe? It's ready. You get a little ice cream parlor. I absolutely love this animation so much. Bestie! Hello, Katie! Thanks for joining. We are on our third house in the DLC right now. Sprinkle requested a castle of cold, and we did our very best. Look at her taking a picture of the tree! Oh my gosh. Little cutie. She is so precious. And thank you, Katie. We are mostly going for symmetry tonight, apparently. My brain is too tired to think of anything that does not involve much symmetry. The interior of this house is actually a little ice cream parlor, so. Could you take some snaps of my place? Yes. I think we'll do the exterior this time. Look at us go. ka -chow. I think the sky is so pretty today. I think the cabin would look better if it was white. You know, we can look at it. I don't think I can edit it anymore, though. Maybe we'll come back one day. Wait, did it assign the photo? I hope it did. Okay, we're back, huh? Ah! Oh my gosh, look at him! Is this where we learn how to polish things? Look at Wardell with his little banana. <laughs> his banana, his bandana is what I was attempting to say. <laughs> Wardell can make anything shiny by polishing it. Anything. I swear, it's like magic. 
He is such a gentle boy, Wardell. Wardell keeps things nice and clean around here, but he always tries to do it when none of us are around. I always put cleaning at the bottom of my to-do list when I get busy, so I'm really thankful for your help. Can Wardell come and visit my house? I actually love the DLC so much. Oh my gosh. Now then, thanks for another job well done, Lex. How do I know it went well? Because you've got the face of a winner. Just look at you, winner all over. I'm so glad that that's the energy that I'm exuding for her. Here's the 6,000 pokey you earned. Thank you, little bestie. Keep up the good work. I just wanted to pop in and say hi, I hope, or I love you and I hope you're having so much fun. I love you too, Katie, and I hope that you're having so much fun. I appreciate you stopping by. Molly, thank you for subscribing. Do you want to call it a day or do you want to keep working a little bit longer? I think we'll do one more. I think we'll do one more and then I'll call it a night because it is at two in the morning. Let's go. I wonder if there will be even more villagers now. What time zone are you in? I am in EST, but it should be released for everyone now. I'm also in the US and from what I hear, it's released from East to West Coast. Everyone has it now. Oh my gosh, look at him. I want to hang out in a fancy, what did he say? A fancy place surrounded by riches. Blair is still here with her little fruit request. And the villagers over here should be the same too. Here's little Tybalt. So riches or fruit? I think we'll do Blair now. Meat, thank you for subscribing. Do I have that kind of status? I forgot that Blair was a snooty villager. She is absolutely the cutest. Molly, hello, thank you for being here. Lex, go invite Kiki. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to make a dream home for her. I want to wait until I have, like, all the skills. A home with fruit flavor. Oh, no. Not fruit furniture. Okay, whatever. That's very nice. I really like your concept. I think maybe a spring island for this one. All of these are, like, peak season. Summer. Oh, this one's spring. It's not very fruity, though. What is this? It's like a little town around the house. Love that. This one's in spring. This one is in spring. I feel like it could be cute, but I want to save the pink trees for an island where it has more of a pink aesthetic requested, I guess. Does that happen? I don't know. Maybe we'll do this one. This one looks like it could become an orchard. You know what I mean? It's summer, but... Oh, you can change the seed anyway. It doesn't even matter. I think we'll go with this one. It's like a really pretty build area. <laughs> Maestro, you said you can change the season on any island. Yeah, I got there eventually. I'm doing my best out here. Oh no, London. She knows at my campsite and I've been trying to get her to say Poppy for the past two hours. That is a dedication that I do not have. Oh, what a wonderful vacation home seeing it with my own eyes. Well, it's stunning, Nutlet. That's kind of an offensive name for her to call me. I am on pins and needles to see what you'll do with it from here, Nutlet. Thank you, little bestie. We're going to do our best. This is just gorgeous. I love the setup we've already got here. I did forget that you could actually put these pathing things down on any island, though. I was like, whoa, we can get pathing for this one. I also kind of want to decorate the house differently. Let's see. 
That's like too bright. These are so saturated. That has kind of a cute, like, orchard e vibe. Ooh, maybe this one. Okay, I like this actually. Okay, and now we can actually choose one of these because they make sense. Oh my gosh, a fruit wreath! And we still have the ice one. Maybe you get to keep things as you go along. Okay. I feel like we should add some trees so I can get an idea of what space we're working with. Oh my gosh, we got the fruit trees. Amazing. Okay. Cute. Maybe we should space them out a little bit. We could use some of the other fruits as well. Maybe we get at least one of each so it feels like a little orchard. Is there any organization, any rhyme or reason to the placement of these trees? No. It came out 18 hours ago for you, Rebecca. Literally, I just got this update two hours ago. Oh my gosh, Raven! Hello, bestie, it's 2 a.m. Yeah, you're telling me. You're telling me. We gotta explore though, it's important. Okay. What sort of table do we wanna have here? This one could be cute. I really love the orange table, but I feel like it never works out for me. Will this one fit? I don't think so. No. With this, I can push this forward a bit. Look at us go. I might push this to the edge of the cliff so we can add some more flowers and everything. Storm falls, hello. I hope you get a wonderful night of rest. Thanks for stopping by. Definitely sleep well. I'm really just feeling red for this build as a whole. Also, my favorite flowers in the entire game are probably red pansies. Well, that are red. I do like blue hyacinths most of all. Sea wine, thank you so much for subscribing. For those of you in the chat, what time is it where you are right now? I'm curious about like how many of you are also just staying up super late because Animal Crossing and how many of you are just responsible and it's like a decent time in your time zone. I don't like those red, I mean those yellow flowers, never mind. <laughs> 11 p.m., 2 a.m., 1 a.m. So it is late at night and very, very early in the morning for a lot of you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for spending the wee hours of the morning with me. Oh my gosh, I can decorate these too. Amazing. We're gonna stagger these with some fencing, I think. 
Ah, the Rex Princess. Thank you so much for subscribing. Oh my god. I forgot that you could do that. Okay, cool. What fencing should we use? I'm thinking maybe country. Michelle, thank you for subscribing. This is kind of cute. Ghosty Plays, thank you for subscribing. Oh my gosh, Kuri Raid. Thank you all for being here. Welcome to the chat. How are you all tonight? How is Kuri's stream? And Kuri, hello. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a lovely stream. We're working on our fourth DLC home. Thank you, Taylor, for subscribing. Oh my gosh, this new fencing is so cute. We'll keep this one. Love that we get so little space to work with here. NPC Draws, thank you for subscribing. I hope you all have had a wonderful night. I hope you're all having a great time enjoying the DLC if you have it. Sienna, thank you so much for subscribing. Let's see here. Oh my gosh, Raymac, you as well, and Alyssa, thank you for subscribing. I hope you're all having a lovely night. You know what? I think I have to do it to him. I think we're gonna have to get rid of this. We're gonna have to move this little bad boy. So we can do this. Incredible. You know, we could intersperse some dark pathing. And then we could have something here as well. Okay, that looks cute. That looks cute. It's 7 a.m. in Italy. Nice. Hello from North Carolina, where it's 2 in the morning. I think this is good. Maybe we'll add some more of these on the cliff above. Let's go back to fencing. It's on the right one. Ka-chow, ka-chow. I think that's cute. We're doing our very best here, okay. What can we put on the other side of the house to kind of emphasize this orchard aesthetic we've got going on? I'm thinking maybe a little table with a chair. Rye bread, hello, thank you for subscribing. Jill, thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. And Laser Beats, so this is our fourth home that we're working on tonight. Do I want to include another one of these? Maybe a mini wooden table. Shake it up a bit. I wonder if any of the patterns would look good. Isn't there an apple pattern, actually? Yeah. Look at us go. Maybe we'll switch these. Thank you so much, Brinley, for subscribing. Okay, that could be cute. What kind of item do we want to put on it? I know for the order we have to use these two things, but we can use those indoors. Maybe a fruit basket. And then we can add some plants. Let's see what plants we have access to. We can use this new one. Terracotta would be cute. We haven't used that yet. Let's slap that back here. And bring this other one over here, maybe. Yes. It's a yes for me. I'm thinking that's cute. That's cute. I'm absolutely poop, so I'm heading up to bed, but have a blast. Have a wonderful sleep, Kuri. I hope you have an amazing dream tonight. Let's see. 
I think we need some more flowers, maybe. Also need to figure out what the heck to put down here. I forgot we could change these, but I feel like, honestly, they're the best possible one. I feel like log just fits this area. Can we fit any more trees, I wonder? Definitely not back here. Can we put one here? Yes, we could! That's cute. Okay. What else could we put in this area? I need like a display table of some sort that we could just like display like oh there's a farmer's market just up this little this little incline well lottie always give you six thousand pokey or sometimes more christopher someone in the chat earlier said that they eventually got a raise where they would get nine thousand pokey so i'm guessing the more you decorate the more you have the potential to get okay so we have this here now we need to figure out what to put on it this would be cute. Maybe a plate of something. Ooh, a pear pie. That is cute. Okay. We'll put that here. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. We need to look at pathing. Alana, thank you for subscribing. That's cute. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's look at some more flowers, perhaps, for down the incline. Sorry, Blair. Didn't mean to pick you up, queen. What does that look like? Ah, oh, we can't get any closer. That's fine. Okay. Let's also put some hyacinths at the top because they are so pretty. I don't like that these are both hyacinths. Let's put this over here. But we do need a flower beside the table, I think. We can do a mum there. Shake it up a bit. Oh, we didn't even put anything on the table there. Look at this cherry jelly! Oh my gosh! Okay, we'll use that. Is this what Blair wanted at all? Don't know. Not sure. But we're certainly doing it. I wonder if I could fit. I like it, actually. I like it. I'm gonna put this one over here. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like what we're I like what we're doing. I'm thinking that maybe a few more flowers just placed about. Where did that even plant? I don't know. We'll try again. I'd like a flower right here. Not my favorite, but you know, it's something. I think at this point we can go indoors. I really like how this turned out, actually. I think this is so cute, like a little layered orchard vibe. Look at that. I'd live here. But now for the interior, which is not my strong suit. Wait, is there coffee jelly? I don't know. I know there's canned coffee, though, which I think is absolutely adorable. Here are the items we have to use in here. Thanks for nothing, Blair. So this can be customized. Okay. There are different ways of customizing this that aren't terrible. So we'll use this one, I think. This can also be customized. But I kind of like the apple one, to be honest. So we'll leave that. Let's get rid of this and then pick a wall. Like we did before, my process is very predictable. Oh, we get these new items. 
little walls? Okay. I'm thinking... Oh my gosh, okay, I applied that as an accent wall. Interesting. What if we went with not that? Okay, now I kind of think it was a vibe. I don't know. Camila, thank you so much for subscribing. What to do, what to do. Oh, that's cute. You know, I I'm, I'm vibing. Let's let's go with it. So here is this little wardrobe. What is the front of it? We're going to assume that. Just leave that as her room. Okay, flooring. I'm thinking maybe this one. Are any of these new? I think these three. That is so cute. Milk glass lamp. Oh my gosh, it can be pink. Let's go with yellow just to see what the vibe is like. Center of the room. Yeah, that's cute. And then we can go back to the things to see what she might like here. Do we want to give her like a bedroom in here? I think so. We can give her a little double bed. Cherry wood. Oh my gosh, we could give her the apple comforter. Look at these little chicks. What are the new patterns again? Is this a vibe or not a vibe? I don't know. We'll try it, you know. You win some, you lose some. This is actually kind of cute, though. Okay, so let's move this over here. Definitely think we need to get some plants in here to kind of match the aesthetic of the outside since it's kind of an orchard. Hello, Crossing Dots! Thank you for joining. I hope you're having a good night. Or day, depending on where you are. Am I going to use the cheflora? How do you say that word? Someone send help. Tammy, thank you for subscribing. I hope you're having a brilliant day. Beige or terracotta. I think we'll go with terracotta to match the outdoors. And then we can put another one over here. That's kind of cute. Now we just have to figure out how to decorate around the bed. Let's see. Ranch low board. You know, that kind of makes sense given the fact that we're making a an orchard. I guess we'll go with dark brown and maybe red gingham. There is no reason to have two of these. You know what, we will rotate it and put it under this window. Innovation. Alrighty, so we have fruit basket that we could use here. We could do some decorative bottles. Do these come in red? I can't remember. They come in brown. And they have apple. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Look at that. That's cute. And then we could have something else in here for the room aesthetic. It feels like kind of an older room, so I kind of want to carry that. Blair has never struck me as a farmer, but that is the aesthetic I'm giving her room, isn't it? Haley, I hope to catch you next stream too. I hope you have a lovely day or night. Let's see here. I guess we could do this and it can be like a nightstand sort of. 
Chef Lara. Okay. Chef Lara. I will do my very best to pronounce that correctly. People can have nightstands on either side. What would she have on her nightstand? A public telephone for sure. Oh my gosh, it comes in red. We're doing it. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then maybe... Oh, you can use photos. I don't know what else she'd have. Maybe accessories. Since she's a snooty. She likes fashion, I believe. Incredible. The aesthetic out of this world. And I'm thinking maybe a lamp. She's a farmer gal. I think we need a rug to spice up this room. This is not my strongest room, but you know, no one can stop me. I'm thinking maybe we should get rid of the apple wall. And add some wall art maybe instead. This is cute. Okay, we'll put this somewhere. Not right above the bed. I don't think it fits there. It also doesn't fit anywhere else, but okay. We'll put it there. And then over the bed, maybe we can try this little shelf. What are the customization options for this one? Not a fan. What else could go above the bed? KK dub. I wonder what that sounds like. Could also create some wreath symmetry here. Do I want that to stay on the wall or do I want to find something new? Glow in the dark stickers. Are you kidding? That is so precious. We could also do a cork board. What are the customizations for this? Anna, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the stream. Let's see. I guess we could try this. Like if we just pretend that's not there. That's kind of cute. Actually, that sort of matches the way my room in real life is because I have a cork board right above my bed. You know, I think we might keep it like this. YOLO. Maybe add some floral swag. Isn't there a red one? Let's see. There's the colorful one. Let's see what it looks like over here. I think we need it over both windows. I'm really gonna drag it all the way across. Okay, this is, this is good enough. Did Blair ask to be a farmer? Absolutely not. Am I making her a farmer? Absolutely. It's ready, queen. Why is Nico stopping me? What have I done? Is Nico gonna yell at me? You're getting really good at this interior design thing, but I've got a cool technique to show you that can take it to the next level. You couldn't have shown me the technique before I finished the room, little bestie. Remember how Wardell made the office furniture sparkle just by polishing it? Well, he showed me how to do it. With this neat trick, you can make a room's furniture shine. Get ready for Operation Sparkle. 
Step one, get your bod and get your bod. Okay, get your bod and your polishing duds ready with L. Step two, face the furniture item and press A. Step three. Oh wait, there is no step three. So that's it. If you spot any furniture that can do with an extra sparkle, try it out. Will do, King. Will do. Maybe Blair's alter ego is a farmer, you know? Maybe. How very interesting. Well, whether or not to use it is entirely up to you, Nullet. Somebody said to turn the wardrobe. Let's do it. Is that how it's supposed to be front facing? I have never used a wardrobe like this. Okay. So L. Oh my gosh. Okay. Polishing indoor items will make an item shine or remove the shine. Okay, so that's good to know. You can remove the shine. Press A again to remove the effect or hold down A to do an especially thorough job. Oh my gosh, did you see the way I hit it? Okay. We're getting really intense here. Oh my gosh. That's actually precious. I wonder if I can do it with the Shufflera plant. <laughs> I like how Blair is just watching. She's just like, okay, I guess. Whatever. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're done. We're done. Gosh, now I'm thinking about that stupid TikTok. It's not even stupid. It's hilarious. It's honestly quality. The one where he's like, you're done. You're done. Incredible. Incredible. How is my vacation home coming along? Is it ready? It is ready. You did it. Thank you. You've dedicated so much of your time to my vacation home. I could not be happy you're not lit. What a cutie. Now we get to see her enjoying her little house. Look at her. Why does it actually look good from that angle that it was doing? We love to see Blair living her best life. Everything is shiny. I know. I only did three items, but it is very overwhelming. In the best way, though. I love it. This music is such a vibe. You can polish on your own island, right? I believe that once you learn how to do it in the DLC, that yeah, you can use it at your home island as well. Thank you so much for everything you've done today. Oh, of course, since you're here and all, how about immortalizing your work with some pictures? I think we'll take pictures outside because I am really proud of the little orchard. Hello, little Blair. So let's go here, maybe, and take the picture. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't make her disappear, just me. <laughs> Did you see her face? I'm gonna go with that one. Look how cute. Okay, we'll head back now. How does the DLC link your normal account? I'm not sure what you mean, London. What a cutie! Ghosty Place says you can as you learn it. I just did it at my home. Yeah, I thought that's what they said. That once you like learn techniques, you could use them at home too. Welcome back. How did things go? I have to think you're pretty used to the work now, right? Heck yeah, I am. Here's 6,000 pokey. Thank you, little bestie. I want to thank you again for all the hard work you've been putting in. You're such a big help. That said, it's not good for anyone to work themselves too hard, so it's break time. 
Go enjoy a change of pace for as long as you like. I suggest taking a walk around the whole island. Maybe I'll go out for a stroll too. I could use the steps. Oh, speaking of exercise, there are vines on the cliffs nearby sturdy enough for anyone to climb on them. You can really work up a sweat doing that. Try climbing them with A. I bet you'll really enjoy it. Talk to you later, Lex. I like how Lottie stepped in and she was like, okay, you've done enough. Oh my gosh, Lottie literally said, you're done. Uh, you're done. I think we're ready to go home now. Before I get off of here, I will show you all the gyroids that I've collected because I have some- it's like a small army. A small army. Let's go. Look at these little cuties. Isn't that Pudge? Isn't that his name? Lottie's thinking. Oh Lex, you startled me. Well, I got lost in thought looking at this property. Have you noticed all of the unused properties around here? Before I set up shop, someone else was working on developing the island. They built all of these, but for whatever reason, it didn't work out. And I guess they just left the properties like this. Lately, I've been thinking about how we could put these properties to use. Maybe some new facilities. If we have even more to offer our clients, I'm sure our vacation home business would boom. I just know we could breathe a lot of life into these old properties. Maybe we start with this one. I think it was originally going to be a school of some kind. Why not pick up where they left off? All I have to do is get a little paperwork in order and we can get to work. That's so cool. I'm kind of excited to work on that. So basically we need to do some more clients. And we'll be able to do this. Incredible. So she doesn't really want me to take a break. She just wanted me to walk out here so she could be like, hey, here's some more work I'm going to make you do that you will enjoy. Okay, let's head back to Lorian. What is this kid doing? Is he mad? Oh my gosh, Sydney! Hi, little queen. Okay, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Hi, Wilbur, little bestie. I'm supposed to mention that we've expanded our little operation, and now we've got direct flights to Harvey's Island, which should reduce your turbulence a bit. And thanks for choosing Dodo Airlines, where it uh, doesn't take wings to take wing. Look at him. This is why he's the best NPC. I love Wilbur. All right, so what would you like to do? That's pretty cool that you can go straight from here to Harv's Island, though. When you finish the school, you get to assign which villager in the paradise that becomes the teacher. Are you kidding? Are you, like, telling me that? Or asking? Okay. Let's go check out my little, my little gyroids. He said fee fi fo fum. He really did. Let's go. Look at my gyroids. Let me let me get in front of them. Alley box, thank you so much for subscribing. Look at them. Look how many of them. Look at this little pig one too. This little guy. Look at him. Also, this little, like, dog one? What the heck? I love the gyroids so much. I'm not gonna lie, after the Animal Crossing Direct, I was like, you know, I don't really care about the gyroids. No, they are actually stellar and I adore them. I actually have one I can dig up today that I haven't gotten yet, so let's check that out. Let's see who the newbie is. A Trimaloid. I do not have this one yet. Look at him go! Oh my gosh. Actually, I do. They're right beside each other. Duh. Now I just have two different colors. Little kings. So yeah, I've got all these crops. I've been playing like all day, so I've done quite a bit. And I have actually been working on flattening Lorien. So as you can see, we've got a lot of flat land here. But yeah. That's going to be all from me tonight. Look, we got another gyroid. A thwopoid. 
Oh my gosh, two gyroids. I'm gonna cry. Let's go look at what they look like. Here's the Thwoboid. Oh my gosh, he looks like a blobfish. Okay, and then the other one. A Boyoingoid. Oh my gosh, look at them. Little babies. That's incredible. Okay. I hope you all enjoyed the stream tonight. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or night wherever you are. It is almost 3 a.m. for me, so I'm going to sign off here. But thank you all so much for coming, and I'll see you for my next stream and or video. And yeah, thanks for coming.